Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial in Roblox Studio. Today, we're, we are back with the 22 Pilots Traffic Light plugin, or as widely, or more commonly known as the Road Accessories plugin. And today, we're going to be going to a more hands-on look into traffic lights instead of doing like Instead of adjusting things on the outside, we're, we're going to dig into the traffic lights just a little bit and create some unique images for the lights themselves. So we're just going to focus on changing what the what the light images will look like when the lights are turned on and off, as what well, was what we'll see right here. This right here is a better a better example of what we're going to work on, which is which this shows a better image than uh, than the, the this bicycle light. I mean, you can kind of see it, but it's the same kind of process. So for this tutorial, which this will work for every single every single traffic light editorial thing that you do, for this tutorial we're only going to focus on this U-turn signal, and this and as like like I said, this is going to be the same process for doing any any kind of special traffic light. You just need to have the correct images. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. So after you open up Roblox Studio, I want you to go to create traffic signal, create new. And just for this tutorial, I'm only doing two directions. And for y'all that are starting out and doing this for a first first time, I would recommend doing two directions. But you can do three or four; it's completely up to you. You want <coughs> you want to make sure that you get your poles. Go ahead and rotate it to however you best see fits. Go ahead and set up your directions, and I'm just going to just set it up however I normally do, and that's about right. So I'm going to have two traffic lights set up. Traffic light one, which is the one over here. It's going to be like the traffic light that you should not do. And then the second traffic light right here to the right is one that you should do. So, first of all, after you get all these loaded in, you are going to want to uh, go into your Explorer and select. make sure that you select the signal that you're going to work with. So after you selected the signal that you worked with, you're going to break that down, set, get that direction that you're wanting, open it up, and then make sure that you know which light is what. So, for, so the first one is the left one and the second one is the right one. Now, I want y'all to pause the video real quick and I want y'all to take a minute, find my profile on Roblox, hduduck2257 underscore YT, I'll, I'll put a link to my profile in the description. Scroll down until you see accessories, click decals, and then search for the three U-turn lights that are off, which is red, yellow, and green, and the three U-turn lights that are on, red, yellow, and green. I want you to download all uh, all six of those. Now, whenever you click on each, do not click get. Don't click get. Uh, there is a little download icon whenever you open the page. You will, you will click on that image Instead of clicking get, you'll click the little download icon. It'll be set to a file called called .rbxmx. I think that's what it's called. It should be something like .rbxmx or something like that. And when you when you have that saved, you technically done it correct. So you're gonna do that six times for each of the lights. But whenever you upload the image, after you upload the image, take the time and rename the image to something that will that will make life easier for you because if you just upload it as image you have to go with six images and you have to memorize the numbers and find each one that will be like oh wait this is this and this is this it's easier to just take take the time and rename everything to make sure they have something like oh green bike off green bike on green you turn off green you turn on red bike off so on and so forth it's best to have something like this so that you know what image is best for the traffic light so let's take a second Access my profile, download those six, don't click get, click the download icon, and you should be able to get to the .rbx, rbxmx file, and then just drag it onto studio, and then you'll have it ready to go. So, now, y'all have downloaded all six, and you should have something that is like this. Something that, that's on the right where you're able to identify what image is what. So, first of all, we're, we're going to start working on this traffic light, right? So, traffic light 2, which is the one right here. Normally what I do is that I open up all, all uh, each light category, and then I open up each on and off segment inside each light, so that I know after I complete 
the image, I can close that section and move on to the next one just so that it, it just helps me out. So, first of all, just to make sure that we know what we're doing, after you select the down arrow for off, you're going to go to image, hit properties, and then scroll down until you find the image, which is this line right here. It's a Roblox asset ID with the number. What we're going to do is that we're going to scroll up and find the find the light image that we're going to be changing. So first, we're setting it first we're on the green and it's it's on the off image. So we have to scroll up, find green you turn off. Here it is. Go to properties, copy the entire link, go back to explore, scroll all the way down, set the image, go all the way down, paste the link in there and then boom, just like that. And now we we currently have a green U-turn. I don't know why the, I don't know why that spawned. We now have a green U-turn off traffic light. Now we'll close that up. I'm gonna scroll all the way up. Green U-turn on. Copy the link. Scroll all the way down. On image and paste. Enter. Boom. Now okay. So now the image is, is in there. But I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna close this off, and I'm gonna go to the yellow real quick. Was that yellow? Do you turn off? Copy. Go all the way down to the yellow image, and paste. Now it's very important if you if you set to both set both off and onto the same image or the similar image, because if you don't and if you forget, it's gonna look something like. I just hit the wrong button, but that, but that's that, but that's completely all right. Whoa, really? Excuse me, players. I'm, it's just me. Okay. So when we go to the traffic light. See, look, it's on, right? But it's off. The yellow is currently off. Actually, I just realized I did not set this to auto. Let me fix that real quick. Auto close. Select run. This time I'm going to run. So now set to auto, so I'll be able to take care of that real quick. I'm just going to do it. Oh, did not mean to do that. <sighs> Currently learn it. <laughs> well, that's what happens. Easy fix. Okay, so now we're in. So the light is turned on, which is exactly what you want, right? So now the light is on, and you have to make sure that the on image is set for both, because otherwise, you, like, this is really awkward. Because, like, you have a completely different image for off, but there's a it's a solid yellow light, which is something that you really don't want professionally. So make sure that you set both yellow or whatever lights on and off. Make sure you set each of the light colors to both on and off so that y'all can have a better idea on, on what you have done and what you haven't done already. And plus it just looks nicer. It looks way nicer. I'm gonna close that so now we're just left on the red. Again, the exact same thing. Red off. Copy the link. Go down to red off. Properties. Paste. Enter. Explore. Close. Beautiful. Now on properties. Copy. Explore. Image. Paste, boom. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit run real quick. And y'all will see this light in action. Okay, so look, we currently got a green face. Now, you always want to make sure that you hit, that you run it, just make sure that you, you get exactly what you're looking for. So you have to run. Yep, there it is. We got the yellow on, which is good. And there we are. We, we got the red on. That's exactly what, what we're looking for. And it's the same. It's the same thing for, for like the bicycle light, and for uh, like all the other images. With this technique, you can literally do any image that you want to, for your traffic lights, which is which is really cool. You you can create like like a like a little three image story with the changing of the traffic lights, or you can just be very creative with what with whatever you want to do. Now, whenever you do said image. There's two things you have to keep in mind. One, it's best to keep the image in a in a 512 by 512 pixel range um, for for best quality image. And this is where the no no light comes in. You have to make sure that you 
whenever you save the image, make sure that you have no background on the image whatsoever. Like, there can't be, there can't be any white or black background on it whatsoever. Because, here's why. What I'm about to show you is a reason why you need to have a black background. So I'm going to run it. Lights are currently off right now. And then when the light turns on, we get this monstrosity right here. Now the arrow is not that bad, but you notice that there are like the white part of the image is on with the light. So this is something that you have to be careful with. I will post a link in the description of what I use to remove backgrounds, and it's a it's super easy to use. But you have to keep that in mind because if you want good quality images for your lights, you have to make sure that there is no background corners poking out of the circle. It does have to be a circle, like a circle-based image for it to work properly. And then you have to, to be fancy with it and get rid of the backgrounds. Now, out, now since that's out of the way, that's pretty much it for creating your own traffic light. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little tutorial. And again, this is a very simple tutorial. Y'all can do whatever image that you want to. Y'all can even create like your own unique arrows for this. So like for all for all of you that are not in the United States, y'all can like literally look up an image on Google of your own arrow traffic lights and then create an image of like as best as you can do it and upload the image onto here. And then that way you have your own, you, you basically have your own traffic lights in your own game. Which I, which I think is really cool. All of the lights are, are United States based, but with this cool trick, for those of you that are not in the States, y'all have the ability to do the lights your own way, which is completely awesome. Now, I have not figured out yet on how to do like the lights turn on off at the same time. I figured that, that out yet. You're, you're gonna have to work with the coding a little bit, but it's, I, don't think it's, I don't think it'll be that bad. Which whenever I do, I'll be able to share that with all that with you. But until then, I hope all of you enjoy this awesome little tutorial of creating your own traffic lights, pretty much with custom images. And if y'all did enjoy, then please feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And other than that, I will see all of y'all next time. Bye-bye.